right? We good? We on? All right. Shalom. Shalom. We want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekakadash. The apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the I can teach you about the mind while I'm out. That's the sincerity and truth. It's the Great Millstone branch in Dallas. And uh, we just want to uh, we want to glorify the Lord today. That's right. You know, uh, there's a lot going on with the other Israelite groups and along with the heathen. You know, you got the heathen and the two third running rapid, and we get on them enough. You know what I'm saying? And we don't get on that ain't all we do. You know, we get into lessons like the one we're gonna get in today. We're about John chapter 17. Matter of fact, let's start at John chapter 16 and read the first like four verses. John chapter 16. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, whether you of the elect or of the two-thirds or the heathen, at the end of the day, the Bible is about the Lord sending his son back. That's right. You see? And Yahweh sent Yahweh Shai to deliver Israel, starting with the elect on trickling down to the two-thirds so that all Israel can be saved. But all these other groups tend to forget that it's all about Yahweh Shai. You know? And uh, after we get that, yeah, let's get that first, and I'm then sorry. somebody hold First John five. I'm sorry, verse one. Come. On. This is John sixteen, verse one. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. Mm -hmm. This is the Lord speaking to the yes. disciples. Go ahead. Verse two. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth. God's service. You see? And that's going on with a lot of these Israelite groups. You see? They think it's their duty to squash the prophets pretty much. Yep. You see? The MOTB ain't the MOTB. You don't have to worship Yahweh Shai. You don't got to do this. You don't got to do that. It's all about the laws, statutes, and commandments. You see? But at the same time, you got the prophets that say, look, this is what the Bible is actually talking about. The secrets that the Lord shared with us, we shared it with the people. As we are commanded to. You know? But if that's not enough, the Lord speaking to the disciples, if that's not enough to convince you, how about the Lord Himself giving a testimony through the Lord's favorite disciple, who was John, to put his stamp of approval on your house shot? Let's go. Verse 3. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. That's what I'm saying. You got all these Israelite groups. That don't know the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And it's plain. You see, the Lord told the disciples in Matthew 13, He said, Look, it's for you, it ain't for them. Yep. We understand that. Yep. Now, let's jump to first uh first John 5, start at 9. Because this is Yahweh's uh record of his son written through John. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. First John chapter 5, verse 9. If we receive the witness of men. The witness of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, is greater. For this is the witness of the Most High, which he had testified of his son. See, Yahweh himself is testifying of his son, you uh, utilizing John to write it down, which is the Lord's, Yahweh Shai's favorite disciple. That was his best friend. So the Lord put the Spirit on his best friend to write. Because when you notice when John's writing, he's writing about the divinity of Yahweh Shai. You see? Go ahead. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar. You see, and these guys don't believe Yahweh's record of Yahweh Shai because they got all this madness they can talk. They always got an excuse on how not to worship. They downplay the Lord's sacrifice. Yep. You know, you see it all the time. But at the end of the day, we want to strive to be like Yahweh Shai. Right. Not figure out ways to try to debunk him, which is impossible. That's right. But the Lord had his, his the Lord had his uh, 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 record of the Lord written during the transfiguration. You see, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear he him. When the Lord got baptized by John, the Lord said the same thing. So how is it that the Lord himself, the heavenly father himself, can have an account of Yahweh Shai and have it written down in the account? But then you still, it still ain't enough for Jack. You know? You got something? Yeah, something back here. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1, uh, I'll start at verse 10, but uh, probably 12. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Hamashiach, both which are in heaven and which are earth, even him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, 
being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, which is talking about the Heavenly Father, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. God. And so he first trusted in, 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 in Yahweh Shah. How did he do that? He made him the only, only begotten son, the only spirit to actually be created by the Heavenly Father was Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. And then he gave him the blueprint on the creation. And then Yahweh Shah created who? The rest of, of, the, of the holy angels, those first fruits who helped him create everything. All, all things were also given unto Yahweh Shah. That's why he's the Alpha and Omega. But the point is that he first trusted in Yahweh Shah. That's right. Okay? Verse 13. In whom he also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So that's the point. You have the Heavenly Father first trust in Yahweh Shah. The the okay? He said, This is my son in whom I am well pleased. Ask of me, and I shall give thee of the heat. Those are all things that Yahweh, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, okay, was pleased with Yahweh shot, and he gave everything unto him. That's right. Okay? That's right. Uh, going back to the first John chapter 5, uh, verse 10 again. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness of in himself. He that believeth not the Most High hath, hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that Yahweh gave of his Son. Can you look at that word record? Record. Yeah, first John five. Oh, on the uh, you want the blue letter? Yeah, blue letter. look up that word for record. Okay, come. Oh, I can't read this. Yeah, because a lot of people don't understand that this Bible is real. You know, Jacob used the Bible for the scripture talk about prophesying deceitfully. You know what I'm saying? Using the word to fill your own belly and all these things that you see these other Israelite groups doing. That's right. You see. They want to build up their own brand without glorifying the Lord. And then when you do get on them by glorifying the Lord, it's, when they do use the name of the Lord, it's, it's half-assed. You know what I'm saying? It's halfway. Oh, we call him Yeshua. Oh, we call him, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then you got Sakari, you know what I'm saying? Well, we go, they, they, they deal with your howl, but they don't deal with your howl shot. Like they can go straight to the heavenly father. That's right. You know? And it's, and, and it, and it's clear that you can't. But Hey, the Lord said, believe on him as the scripture has said. That's right. right. Bring it out. Right. Uh -huh. And as they say, use your house shot. They'll use it disingenuously. Mm -hmm. right. You know, with the utmost disrespect whenever they do say your house shot. Right. You know. Now, this is John chapter 7 in verse 38. Red letters from shot mm -hmm. stated. And it reads, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yep. And those rivers of living water is talking about this truth, this understanding. Right. Out of your, I would say, out of your belly, out of your mind, you're gonna teach the truth yep. based on the scriptures. You see, you got these so-called Christians that everybody got a Bible, but don't nobody prophesy. Yep. You see, they don't believe how the Lord looked. It's a visual description of the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. go ahead and bring up that word record. Uh, which, which, uh, what were you reading from for John? Who was reading? From? Uh, First John five oh, and like five and ten. 10. Yeah. First John. Okay. Record. Okay, it's uh Martaria, but I'm gonna uh, have, have that speak. Mm -hmm. Strong, Strong's G thirty one forty one Martaria Martaria Martaria. It's uh this is the um and that was from uh Strong's G. Three one four zero. Salakia, Salakia. That's a uh, G three one four one, and the outline of the biblical usage is a testifying. Mm -hmm. The office committed to the prophets of testifying concerning future events. I'm gonna say so. The Lord put the spirit on John to testify about Yahweh Shai. Yeah. This is how the Lord Himself feels about His Son, and I'm gonna use His favorite disciple to put it on wax. Yeah. Go ahead. Come. Also, uh, it says what one testifies testimony before a judge. Mm -hmm. So if the Lord himself, if Yahweh was before a judge himself, he's testifying that this is my son in whom I will please. Right. If you don't believe on my son, you don't believe on me. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Is it more? Uh, no, this, uh, oh, and the Strong's definition is evidence given judicially 
or the I was the ultimate judge. Yep. Mm-hmm. And he's testifying right. that his son is what he says he is. Right. That his son is what the prophets say he is. That's right. You see? You got testify you got testimony from the men that was with him. Yep. Right? Yep. A more sure word of prophecy. That was Peter that said that because Peter was with the Lord. Yep. You see, during their ministry. That's right. Mm-hmm. Those disciples, all of them took on violent deaths. That's right. You see, all of them, matter of fact, go ahead and put that up. We're done with that. Okay. Somebody look up martyr. Martyr. It's gonna uh something's uh, gonna come up in uh Revelation, and it's gonna be another one, but it's the same word. Yeah, I was about to say this. Um the evidence, one of the, one of the definitions was evidence, right? The Heavenly Father showed the evidence on the miracles that Yahweh Shah did, and he also allowed him to conquer death because he he always glorified the Heavenly Father. He said, I get to be about my father's business. Mm-hmm. Okay? So he and then so by him doing that and being obedient unto death, the most high showed the evidence to the disciples, which while they were able to take on those deaths and those sacrifices, because he raised Yahweh Shah back up. That's right. That's right. Yahweh Shah was able to conquer death. So that's the evidence that the Heavenly Father was pleased with Yahweh Shah's sacrifice. That's right. that's right. When you look up the word miracles, when you look up the word miracles, it goes into how a miracle is how the Lord authenticates the men that he sent. Mm. You know? Yeah. You got that? Yeah. This is uh, in Strong's uh, G3144, Marcus. Mark Mar- Mar- this. Strong's G3144, Marcus. Marcus. Yep. Now, when you scroll down in that definition, Ooh. watch what it say. The outline of the biblical usage, a witness in a legal sense, in a historical sense, one who is a spectator of anything, of a contest, in an ethical sense. Drop all the way to the bottom. To the bottom, okay. Those who are after his example have proved the strength and genuineness of their faith in Hamashiach by undergoing a violent death. And that's what I'm saying. And that's what Yahweh Shah did to prove that his father yeah. is the one that sent him. That's right. You see? Yeah. The Heavenly Father sent Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai sent us. You see? Yeah. And then we want to establish that yeah. before we jump into the chapter of John chapter 17. That's right. Because John chapter 17 is after the Lord was uh, crucified and yeah. resurrected. Yeah. You see? That's now, right. at the beginning of the ministry, the Heavenly Father said, This is my beloved yeah. Son in whom I well please. Hear ye him. Yeah. And he said it at the transfiguration was toward the back end because that's when the Lord was about to be sacrificed. Yep. Yeah. That's right. You know? So after the Lord did his work, this is the prayer that he said. What's the name of the chapter? It's a, uh, the, the title of the chapter. You see? Yeah. The prayer for the disciples. Yep. You see? So let's uh, jump. We can go ahead and jump into the lesson now. All right. Uh, you want to start at the top? Or? Yeah, we start at the top. All right. All right. I got it. Uh, John chapter 17, verse 1. These words spake Yahweh Shah and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. You see, in that glory that the Lord is speaking of, you go back to uh, what's that, Proverbs, uh, what, Proverbs 31? Uh, Proverbs 8 is one of those. But where it talks about uh, uh, the Lord was his was daily his life. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the glory that the Lord is referring to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We all got to get it. But what is it? Is it Proverbs? Uh, what's the uh, oh, chapter and verse so brothers can know? Oh, so like Proverbs 8 chapter. Yeah, Proverbs 8 chapter around the 29th verse on down. You know what I'm saying? But that's the glory that the Lord is talking about. Just like the elder Yarala was mentioning a few minutes ago. Uh, 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 God dang it. Uh, the first fruits. Oh yeah, the first fruits. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh gave Yahweh shot a blueprint to create everything else. Amongst the Lord's first creations was those uh, angels that helped him with the creation. That's the glory that Yahweh is referring to, speaking to the Father in this chapter. Go ahead. Come on. Uh, verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Whom thou hast sent. The only true power. Mm. Yahweh Sent Yahweh Shai. Ain't no other. Yep. You see? You can go with Yahweh and all that old stuff. No, 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 no. That's not who that's talking about. Exactly. You see? If your name is Brad, then your name is Brad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm saying it's just like uh, with uh, Apollo Creed in the Rocky movie. The master of disaster, the king of steam, the count of Monte Festo, the this, the that. 
that. And before he raises his hand up in the air and come out, it's Apollo Creed. Yeah. So you have all those titles, but then you have a name. Right. If the Heavenly Father was here and he had to sign his name on something, he's going to sign his name. Right. Yahweh. Yahweh Shai is going to sign his name. Yahweh Shai. Right. Yeah, he's the Prince of Peace. Yeah, Yahweh is the Most High. Mm -hmm. What's his name now? Right. You see? Right. Michael Jordan can't walk in the bank and cash a check under earth. Right. Right. It say Michael Jordan on his goddamn checkbook. Yeah. Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. That's why the book of Proverbs says, what is his name and what is his son's it? name? Yeah. If thou canst tell. Yeah. You got to be able to tell, you know, what that actual name is. That's right. That's right. And you only get that through the Holy Spirit if the most high is dealing with you. But there is one name. Like I say, there's many titles, but there's, all, there's only one name. That's right. The scriptures back that up. Go ahead. Uh, verse 4. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Mm -hmm. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Yep, and the work, I would say, the work that was given to the Lord was to bring Israel back to the Heavenly Father. You see? Mm -hmm. Through mercy, through grace, you know? Yep. Telling the people to repent. Look. The Lord, I would say, the Lord is going to come back and destroy this place. So you got to repent before he do that. Yep. You see, the Lord promised that he was going to deliver the remnant of Israel. Mm -hmm. So Yahweh was like, okay, we'll see. With all this destruction coming, you know what I'm saying? Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. You know, and he did that. Another part of his work was to be sacrificed. Yep. To be perfect in the law. To be crucified. You see, to be resurrected. All that was a part of the work. All that was the Lord tasking your house shot this is what i want you to do okay you created everything now i want you to go in that creation and correct everything mm, that's right. because as adam the lord gave him the kingdom as solomon the lord gave him the kingdom mm -hmm. solomon and adam both fumbled the ball that's right. but your house shot came in the flesh just like they did but I mean, he had to work for it that's right. therefore your house shot's kingdom is going to be forever huh. you know that's right and we in the same stead we were those sons of god that failed so we dropped the ball too. Yep. All of us dropped the ball. Yep. But now we're in a position where we can make it right. That's right. And the Lord gave us mercy and grace and these instructions within this flesh for us to be able to make it through the straight gate. That's right. You see, all these other Israelite groups, they're not worried about the straight gate. They don't give a damn about the straight gate. Mm. Yeah. The Lord himself even said that. It's yeah. only a few that's going to go through the straight gate. <laughs> the broad way is the way to destruction. That's, that's right. where everybody headed. That's right. You know? Go ahead. Come on. Verse 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. The men that thou gavest me out of the world. That's the prophets. That's the disciples. You see? It was talking about the disciples specifically in this chapter, but that trickles down to us. That's right. Over 2,000 years later. Mm -hmm. You see? Because when you continue to read, it talks about those disciples and the fruit that they brought on. Yep. You know? Go ahead. Come on. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. He manifested thy name. Mm -hmm. Read that word for manifested, Baba Kasha. Yeah. We're gonna look up a few words as we go. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way, that's the most, that's the most effective way to get the understanding. That's right. You see? That's right. Nice. As you study to show yourself approved, you go into the Greek, the Latin, and the Hebrew. You go into those languages because those are the languages that the scriptures was written in. Exactly. You know? You got it. That's right. Let me see. This is uh let me see. In the Greek, it is Phanel. And that's in the Strong's G5319. And this is the outline of a biblical usage. To make manifest or visible or known what has been hidden or unknown to manifest, whether by words or deeds or in any other way. You see, and the Lord gave us the name. Yeah. And he also gave us the reputation and all the things that go along with it. Yeah. You see, with the name Yahweh, he is. is. These yeah. prophecies come into pass. Yep. You see? 
and everything is happening according to the Lord's will. So uh shot made it known to us. Yeah. You see, through the spirit, this is my heaven, this is the heavenly father, this is what he wants. I come to do my father's will. Yeah. You see? And that's the if I may, that's the uh, that's the action Yahweh Shah Hamashiach took when he uh done miracles before everybody, and more so importantly, the disciples. You know, because it, it was something visible. You know, you know, fortunately for them, it was something. Of course, we know it was uh, through faith and it was through the spirit, but it was something tangible. So, it was like, man, so they they were able to see that. That's right. Yeah. And he man he manifested a a, a a a man being born of a, a, a of the seed of David. Mm -hmm. He manifested a man being born of the seed of David that showed his people was pleasing to the heavenly Father. That's right. That's right. You see, That's right. this is his name. This is what he wants. This is my name. This is what I'm coming to do because I'm doing my Father's will. Mm -hmm. The Lord was very on point with that, yep. mm -hmm. right. showing us showing us that it could be done. That's right. You see, right. obedience was that thing that was manifested that pleases the heavenly Father. Right. Not lip service, not an empty bag, not Federal Reserve notes. Right. You see, that's right. Yeah, if I could add, yeah, like I said, it wasn't just the name; it was the whole totality of how to get back to the heavenly Father, get His good graces, and to receive salvation. Because they already knew the name Yahweh; they've been knowing that name. Right. You know, because it was that name was uh, made popular when the downfall of Egypt. Right. You know, so that that name was always so there. But like she manifested Shem in the blue and blue manifested blue. Manifested that whole way. Okay, this is this this is the way the power wants it to be done to get back unto him. That's right, and that's through me. That's right, and then through me, this is how you do it. You know, so it just it, it's it's more than it's like the other saying, it's more than just the name. That it's that whole way and pathway that was laid out. On how to get back in good grace with the heavenly father to be able to get elect to receive salvation. That's right. And when a man when a man and a woman get divorced and he takes his name away from her, she don't get everything that comes with that name. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like an example, like uh Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. She wanted a divorce, but she wanted to keep Ike Turner's name. Mm -hmm. Something came with that term. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Right. You got that uh shim? I sure do. Yeah, look up the definition for shim. We know it's Sean. He gonna fuck yeah. it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Sean. He can say the Greek words. He don't need to be nowhere near no Hebrew. <laughs> this is uh, in the Strong's H8035 and the outline of the biblical usage. Name. Mm -hmm. The eldest son of Noah and the progenitor of the Shemitic tribes. Right. Which he, the, the name, the, the line continued through Adam. I mean, the line of Adam continued through Noah and Shem after the flood. That's right. Go ahead. This uh and on the strongest definition it has uh uh a son of Noah, uh the, the posterity. Uh that, that that's all it really has on that. Okay, it might say something in the New Testament. I mean, yeah. It might give you more in the New Testament when you look up name. Yeah, I got it right here. Okay, oh, okay. okay. But, uh, verse. It's uh Strong's G uh three six eight five on Noma. Uh name uh, universally of proper names. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm looking for. Oh, so like, yeah, so like. Yeah. The name is used for everything which the name covers. Everything which the name covers. Mm -hmm. And the Lord put his name on Israel as his bride. Yep. And when he divorced us in Hosea, he took his name off of us. Yep. And look what happened once we yep. once he took his name off of us. Yep. Yep. Subject to all types of... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, everything the thought or feeling of which is aroused in the mind by mentioning, hearing, remembering the name, i.e. for one's rank, authority, interest, pleasure, command, excellences, deeds, etc. That's what I'm saying. So with all those things coming with the name of the Lord, you'll be a fool to not teach it. Especially if you know it. Right. You got something? Uh, yeah, just to add on to that point, you made mention of Hosea one and nine. Mm -hmm. That uh, and we know that Lo Ami, the outline of biblical usage of that is not my people, which was a symbolic name uh, given by the prophet Hosea to his second son. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's it's that that that's symbolic. Like names hold weight, words mean things. That's right. So that that name holds weight. You know, if you're not under the vibration of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, you're through. There ain't no, there ain't no getting around it, bro. There ain't no yo play, yo play, or we'll see what happens, or you know the uh, what was the uh, IUIC's argument? It was like uh, when we went. Oh, we're gonna get it in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. because uh, 
Because not understanding, you know, being given a new name is to what? To be refreshed. Right. You know, they, 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 uh, you know, they're, they're, they're doing, they're doing the most when it's not even the most needed to be done. Right. Only, only just to prophesy, bro. That's, and, and to give the most high's glory. And show you how Shah Hamashiach his reverence, man. That's what I'm saying. But meanwhile, if you, if you, if you don't say Bishop Nathaniel, they gonna get on you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it ain't the the never. Mm -hmm. But the Lord, yeah, well, you, can, you can call him this, you can call him that. No. Okay, nigga. No. Okay, niggas. No. Go ahead. God. Uh, that was pretty much it on the definition. Okay. Back in the John, St. John chapter 17, uh, verse 6 again, I have manifested thy name unto the men. Which thou gavest me out of the world. Mm -hmm. I made known to the men that you gave me in the world who you mm -hmm. are and what you want. Go ahead. Thine. Thine they were, and thou gavest, thou gavest them me. You see, your house, I was saying through your house size obedience, he was given the authority to have these first fruits. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So now you got you got men in the same light. You got you got men that was in the spirit first. Yep. Just like Elder Yashuan Bob was going to. We was a family in the heavens first. Right. The Lord is talking about that glory, which is what we're trying to get back to. That's right. You see? And we're working to get back in that glory so that when we do come down out of those ships, Lord willing, we those men. That's right. You see? It'll take us one day to fix everything that was messed up going back to that seven-day creation. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see? Go ahead. God. And they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are. Go to that chapter that he in and get that word for kept in that verse. Okay. What verse you in? Uh, for kept, verse six. Verse six, gotcha. gotcha. Get that word for kept. Yeah, see, if you just gonna read this thing yeah. all the way straight through, you gonna make, you may get a few nuggets out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the understanding, you gotta you gotta dive in. Yeah. You see. The reason why these other groups be getting cut up the way they be getting cut up is because they don't study. Yep. It's a study to show thyself approved and don't be ashamed of the word. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Right. When you look up that word rightly divided, it goes into teaching the truth directly and correctly. It's only one way to do it. That's right. But you see all these different groups. It's only one doctrine that's going to get you out of here, man. Right. And the Lord provided that through the Holy Spirit for us. Right. And we believe it. That's right. To the point where you go, hey, look, man. If you think I say, if you think that we gonna succumb to the C to the H to the I to the P and and and, and, and mess over what the Lord done promised us, you got another thing coming, man. You got another thing coming, man. Somebody's gonna get out of her through the spirit. Yep. <laughs> Somebody. Go ahead. Come. This is uh this is the uh word for kept, I believe it's Tareo, and this is in the G. Uh, yeah, Strong's G5083. Strong's G5083. Tereo. 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 Okay, the outline of the biblical usage is what? To attend, to carefully, take care of, to guard, to keep. One and said, we defenders of the gospel. To keep it, to guard it. Hold fast. Hold fast, that which is good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And ain't no dudes that's scared of Esau and want to feel their own belly going to deter us from that. Right. Yeah. Romans 8 say it ain't nothing that's going to separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot. Mm -hmm. And that's including you punk-ass niggas. That's right. Yeah, you fringe mini skirt wearing, fitty cap having, belly pulling, empty bag of hoes-ass punks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fuck all of you, man. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Metaphor to keep one in the state in which he is to observe, to reserve, to undergo something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the strongest definition is just uh, to guard uh, from loss or injury properly by keeping the eye upon. Just like Paul said, we yeah. fully we fully set for the defense of the gospel. That's right. Mm -hmm. So every time you every time you hear recorded, you say something crazy. Yep. Hey, through the spirit, we gonna correct it. Yeah. Clearly, we don't give a damn about you getting mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We clearly don't give a damn about your feelings because you think hey, yeah. it is what it is. No respect to a person. Yeah. If the Lord said that the uh, 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 that the, the prophets is gonna make it until the end, yeah. 
and those that endure to the end is gonna be saved. We're gonna roll with that. Yeah. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't uh they they don't care if they uh come off disrespecting the Lord. So why in the hell should we care how they feel? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So if you're gonna uh if, if you're gonna take lightly the name of the Lord, hey, we're gonna let you know that you out of it. We're gonna let you know that you out of pocket. Yeah. And anybody that's you that's following you is out of pocket. Point blank, period. Go ahead. That was uh yeah that that's was, it on that. that. All right, we can go back. Unless you got something to talk. I'll bring this one out. Yeah, I just make this point uh just about that that uh you know like the the uh Felder is going into. We're gonna correct you groups, man, when y'all going off because that's what we're set up to do, man. You know, if you're in the right spirit. This is a uh, second Timothy Timothy four and verse two. It says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, rep reprove, rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, man. Mm -hmm. So it's our job to rep reprove you and rebuke you, to correct you, man, when you go off. Yep. You know, we're set up for that purpose. And it's in season and out of season, man. So we ain't, we ain't gonna take no breaks on you niggas, man. That's right. You know, we That's coming 24-7 right. at you when you messing up. You going off, you're gonna see the great the men of the great millstone, you know, brothers going videos gonna come out on you, man, you know, to correct you. You know, that's our jobs. We're set up to do that. That's right. And the Lord told Ezekiel, he was like, if you don't go out there and tell the people what I said, then it's going to be blood on your hands. That's right. So the Lord basically saying, shit, with these niggas that's out here going off, if you don't get on them, I'm going to get your ass too. Yep. And we for the Heavenly Father, man. I don't want to get destroyed by the Heavenly Father because it's cause, trying, to, uh, uh, trying to sugarcoat the word for some nigga. Yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? I die for a brother, but a nigga ain't going to get me killed. Yeah, right. No, sir. You niggas going to get everybody killed, man. Uh -huh. Where everybody that's supposed to get killed. Yeah. You see? It's gonna be blood all over your hands, man. Yep. We trying to make sure that our hands are clean. That's right. That'll preach up. Cause uh first Corinthians chapter four, verse one. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Hamashiach and stewards of the ministries of the most high. Mm -hmm. And what are stewards? Stewards are managers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So so the, the men, the faithful men have been given uh, authority or the, the task. With uh, like we read in those definitions, to keep for the name, to keep, you know, take care of. That means, yes, you mean you've been given a task to watch over that. So that's, that's what right. a steward or a manager does. That's right. They watch over the store and the other employees and the business. Mm -hmm. So we can't, we can't allow, uh, we can't like, so we can't, can't have blood on people's blood on our hands, man. That's right. We can't allow niggas to, to talk about uh, wayward things, bring out damnable heresies, mess up the name of the heavenly Father. Okay, we have, we have to protect that and preserve that unto the best of our ability, man. Yep. Revelation 3, it talks about how the Lord going to keep those that kept his word. Right. You see? Those that uh, gave attendance to the word and held fast to it, in a day of, uh, in an hour of temptation, he going to look out for you. Mm -hmm. Jake ain't even telling you about the hour of temptation. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You know? Yep. Moreover, it is required in the stewards that a man be found faithful. Mm -hmm. So you also have to be faithful in this thing. You can't switch up uh, towards the end. You can't bitch up. Yep. You can't, can't all of a sudden fall off and start to want to fill your own belly and do your own thing, man. That's right. And, and like I said, that that's and that's the problem with these other groups, man. They they they're hearing it, they're reading it. You gotta study to show yourself approved, but it also has to be mixed with faith. Mm -hmm. According to Hebrews, the fourth chapter, they're they're hearing the same thing that we heard. Right. They came across the same scriptures that they that we're reading, mm -hmm. but it's not being mixed with faith. So the spirit ain't on them to go go deeper into this thing. Look up mm -hmm. certain words. You know, look at what, what, what that name actually means and what that name entails and the importance of, of, of the name. They just take that as a name and that's why they, they don't they don't have, have hold no regard for it. So let's say you can call them outside anything, but it's it's deeper than that. Right? Yeah, they don't even realize that when they downplay the name and push forward the law, statutes, and commandments, who are those law, statutes, and commandments? Whose name is it tied to? Right. Did no other God give the law, statutes, and commandments to Israel? But you, you Lord, the law, statutes, and commandments. If you don't got your fridges on, the Lord gonna kill you. Okay, what's the Lord, what's the name of the Lord that's gonna kill you if you ain't got your fridges on? Yeah, right, right. Exactly. That name is attached to something. Exactly. So to downplay the name is to downplay the gospel exactly. and to downplay the truth. They downplay the prophecies. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, they pockets getting fat as hell while they mangle the scriptures. Right. Yep. Yeah. It's a whole vibration. You know, Jesus Christ comes with a whole, you see the, the, the fruits and vibration of Jesus Christ oh, wiggling man. throughout the earth, mm -hmm. day in and day out. Ooh. It's a totally different vibration man. than your house shot, man. It's right. a totally different mindset. You, you, act a, you act a totally different way. Yeah. And, and, and if I may, 
And with that old Jesus Christ vibration, guess what? You get pastors who's sitting there putting spit on their hand and putting it on their congregation's face, man. Why would you want to be in line with that if, if you know you're an Israelite? You know, it's really like, you know, it, it's really like all this hard work that you've obtained just to just to jump back into Jesus' arms. Like, bro, what sense does that make? Well, we know what sense it makes because a lot of you sold out for the bag. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all sold out for the bag, bro. You know, we don't know what's what and what was in the negotiations. We just know y'all y'all not reverencing your how about Shemia Shah as need be, bro. Yeah, you know, it's evident a lot. Y'all sold out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. ain't it's no doubt true. about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back in John 17, uh, verse 7. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, which is all written right here, man. Yep. You see? The Lord said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless when he was resurrected and uh, ascended back to the heavens. That's right. You see? He gave us the understanding. Because uh, what's that? It's a precept to say that. When he unlocked the understanding. Yep. Uh, if somebody know where that is, get it. Bob Kasha. Oh, but, 24. Yeah, but uh, keep on reading because these niggas that we talking about, the Lord said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So he yeah. praying for the disciples, but he ain't yeah. praying for the niggas that's coming up against them. That's right. You know? Go ahead. Uh, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given them, I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And they, and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. Yeah, when you look up that word received, it goes into understanding. You know what I'm saying? We don't got to get it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to leave something for the people on the comment board to do on their own. <laughs> but at the same time, at the same time, you have to understand that the scriptures is talking about something. It ain't just empty words. You know? You got that uh, precept, dog? Oh, so like, which, which one did you want? The uh, Luke 24. Yeah. What verse? So only open up the understanding. Yeah. Luke 24, 44. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, let's get that real, real quick. Just to make it, just to make it pop. Come. Huh. This is Luke chapter 24, verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you. This is Yahweh Shah Mashiach speaking. While I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets. And in the Psalms concerning me. That's what I'm saying. Because the disciples at that time, they was going off the old scrolls. Mm -hmm. You see? And everything that it was prophesied that the Lord was going to do, he was doing it or in the middle of doing it. Yep. Go ahead. Come. Verse 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. That's what I'm saying. Now, how did he open up our understanding? By breathing that breath of life unto us. That's right. You see? That same, that same breath that was breathed in the air. That same breath that was breathed into them dry bones in Ezekiel 37. That's the same breath that the Lord breathed on the disciples. That's the same breath that's been breathed on us. That's right. You see? Therefore, our understanding has been opened. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 46. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Hamashiach to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. That's what I'm saying. So he gave them all that understanding. That this is why. Yeah. All this had to happen. Yeah. So that the Lord's will can be done. Exactly. Me being put in the tomb, me being put on the cross, being put in the tomb, me being resurrected, all that's got to happen in, Lord, in order for the Lord's will to be fulfilled. That's right. You see? And all those things in the old scrolls, they, they understand it was open. That's right. To the point where it was 100% truth. You know what I'm saying? Because during that time, you had all the different doctors on the scene. Mm -hmm. Everybody guessing, is this, the, is, is, is this the Messiah? Is that the Messiah? Well, they think it might be Isaiah. They think it might be... This is 100% what it's talking about. The Lord opened it up to where it was no doubt. That same thing has been bestowed upon us, man, and we grateful. Right. So the hell would anybody be mad about us being grateful for the Lord for being merciful? Yep. You quick to say the Lord merciful, but shit, y'all don't know how to show no mercy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We show y'all mercy, we get slandered. Yeah. Just like the Lord. The Lord showed mercy, he got slandered. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We understand that we're not going to be greater than our master. So we know we got to go through these things. Yeah, right. That's why the Lord in John chapter 17 is saying, I manifest all this to them. Yeah. I'm making it back to the glory, but I want my brothers to come with me. Yeah. You see? And Jake don't, Jake don't grasp that. They don't, the, the angels got a block. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, verse 
9, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. That's what I'm saying. The world, the, 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 the disciples is the world of the elect. The Israelites that he not praying for is also Israelites, but that's the two-thirds. Yeah. You yeah. see? Yeah. It's all talking about, when you look at that word world, it's talking about cosmos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you talk about Israel. Yeah, the world of Israel. Yeah. You see? You got the elect of Israel, and you got the two-thirds of the Israel, but it's all Israelites. That's all that the Lord's talking about. Mm -hmm. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. You see? And it, so it's basically like the Lord. You got something? Yeah, it just further proves, hey, the Lord, hey, everybody, you know, everybody, well, what about me? Everybody's being recognized. Yep. It just it just so happens that the top performers are going to be that remnant. Yep. Because the, the remnant felt, felt urgency. That's right. The the, the remnant, you know, the, the remnant was like, man, hey, I know it's cold as hell out here. The work got to be done. Mm -hmm. it's, it's raining out here. It's got to be done. That's right. It's hot as hell out here, but it's got to be done. That's what I'm saying. When it's hot, we're going to have the cool yeah. out there. When it's cold, we're going to make yeah. sure we bundle up. Yeah. When it's raining, we make sure we go going to have umbrellas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, brothers, <laughs> bro, like, this part of doctrine yeah. ain't going to be too 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 taken uh, friendly with the world. Yeah. You know, not everybody's yeah. going to rock with this yeah. part of doctrine because they, they still have Western, Western uh, mentality, but you still got to preach the truth. Yeah. I.e. what? Great, the great, the wrong great. You know, dealing with a, a woman uh, past the flower of her age, things like that, that that Western uh, yeah. mindset and this Western hegemon has skewed and messed up and planted on, on, on the emotions of people, you know, you still got to tell the truth, man. Yep. It's just yeah. like Yahweh, uh, the, the Heavenly Father sent Yahweh to die for all of Israel, mm -hmm. but Yahweh is starting with the elect. That's right. So Yahweh is like, okay, I did my part, and this is what I did to finish. So this is what I'm telling y'all to do so that y'all can finish. Like, okay, I died for y'all shit. Y'all died for the rest of the nation. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Which, you know what I'm saying? Which the Lord covered the whole nation, yeah. mm -hmm. but he gave us something to do in the meantime. Huh. You see? It yeah. wasn't just given to us. Yeah. You see? When the kingdom was given to Adam huh. and the sons of God, they all fell. Huh. Yeah. Same thing with Solomon. Yeah. David fought to get the kingdom. Solomon ruled it for 40 years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all the, all, the, all the people that was up under Solomon eventually fell. Yeah. So those that's following Yahweh Shai, he worked for it. This kingdom is forever. That means we work for it. It's forever for us. Yeah. You see? Yep. We working on forever while the rest of you niggas working on whatever you working on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we try to get ready for forever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it take and it, and it take the it take the opposition that we getting yeah. to get to forever. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got it. That y'all niggas are working on right now. Yeah, yes, yeah. 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 working on forever. That's why the scriptures say, "Without people, without vision, the people shall perish." So you paraphrase, and Jake don't have that that vision to yeah. see it far off or forever. Yeah, that's right. They, they want to feel their belly now. They want to know the right now. They want all the accolades now. Yeah, that's not how it works. That's not the blueprint. That's not the order of things. Exactly. That's right. You know, Yahweh Shah came to give the heavenly Father his uh, uh, flowers, so to speak. Now mm -hmm. we have to give Yahweh Shah his flowers. And then the rest of the elect and the of Israel will give that to us in the kingdom. That's, that's right. where we'll get our praise and fame. But they want it all now. Yeah. It's all order. Yeah, yeah, that's the order. That's that immediate gratification. Yeah. You know, what about delayed uh, gratification? Yeah. And then how should I even told, uh, uh, told them people, look, that being praised by men and all that, look, you're not blessed until people hate you for telling the truth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Jake trying to sugarcoat it and, 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 and be world friendly and all that. Mm -hmm. The Lord say, you an enemy of me if you friends with the world. Right. You can't tell me them niggas ain't never seen that. Right. <laughs> but King David said, let their table be made of sterile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. blind. You yeah. see? Yeah. The election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Yeah. Who is the rest? The rest of Israel. Right. It don't apply to nobody else. Right. So the elect of Israel has obtained the truth. And the rest were blinded. That's why you see seeing the actions of these people. You see that video with uh, Elder Ricard from GLCC? Oh. With the hat and shit? Oh, yeah. He doesn't give a damn about preaching. <laughs> <laughs> they clearly ain't focused so, on me. He's entertaining. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking goofy as hell. <laughs> Mr. Bo Chambers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Halftime. Yeah, Super Bowl halftime show. Get the hell out of here, man. Yeah. man. Finalists on Star Search. Sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah, run it up, ad me. Go ahead. Man, John chapter 17, verse you 10. Fucking run it up, you. <laughs> <laughs> and all mine are thine. 
and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. You see, the Lord is glorified in them. You see, meaning that we're going to glorify the Lord to the best of our ability, mm -hmm. and the mercy and grace, we're not going to mess it up. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do everything in our power during this grace period to be meet for repentance when the Lord comes back. Right. So glorifying the Heavenly Father through His Son, mm -hmm. all that is the part of the package. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't skip over your house. I even told you how this old map in the red right. The only way you can get to the Father is by me. That's what glorifying the house. When you look at your life before you woke up to the truth and understood you was a head like repentant, yeah. we was through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way we were walking around, it was like, ain't no way in hell we would get back to the Heavenly Father. Right, right. But right. that's what glorified your house shot because his sacrifice allowed that. Mm -hmm. It right. opened up the doors of mercy and grace and allowed us access back to the Father. That's the only way that we were able to find out that we were Israelites again. So that's how Yahweh Shah is glorified, man, because without that sacrifice, you still walk around here aspiring for some dumbass dreams that probably wouldn't go about for none or end up in some, a wicked ass crown. Man. Right. right. Yeah. You know, so with that sacrifice that allowed the, the whole elect to wake up and receive these things again, to receive the full and true understanding and be and actually have a contrite spirit, say F the world, yeah. and come back to obedience, man. Yeah. You know, so that, that glorifies Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Right. Uh, verse 11, and now I am I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. Keep through thine own name those that thou hast given me. You see? So with that name, everything that comes with it, the reputation, the rank, the order, all those things that come with the name Yahweh, Yahweh shall say, Lord, please keep that on them so they can be glorified too. You see? With all that that house I went through, he was never selfish. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was never selfish. He made sure that the disciples understood every single thing that they needed to understand to get through the straight gate, and they did it. Right. And here we come in that same stead. You see? Go ahead. Get uh, Romans 8. Uh, who shall separate us from the love of the Lord? Okay. Around 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay, gotcha. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Mm -hmm. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. That's what I'm saying. Be one as we are. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are one. And through the Holy Spirit, we are one with them. You see? Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. Here it is, the Lord. The Lord said, this is my beloved son and whom I well please. Hear ye him. He completed the mission. So you know the Lord answered this prayer. You know the Lord answered. It's being answered right now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come. Uh, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou hast give, gave us me. That's what I'm saying. Talking about him and the disciples. You see, I made sure, I, I did the best I could, Lord, to make sure that they understood what they needed to understand right. before I come back to you. Yeah. You see? Go ahead. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition. You know what I'm saying? Going into Judas Iscariot, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And he was quickly replaced mm -hmm. by somebody else that was predestined to be there. Right. Go ahead. That the scripture might be fulfilled. That the scripture might be fulfilled. It's all about the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Having an understanding of the, of the scriptures. Yeah. If you don't understand the scriptures, you're not going to be delivered, man. Yeah. Period, point blank. Yeah. Prophecies, man. That's a test on your house. Shot the spirit of prophecy, mm -hmm. and that fall of Jesus Iscariot was prophesying in the Book of Psalms. Yep. Mm -hmm. let, let another take his bishopric. That's right. And then that land on uh, Matthias. And you and can only Jesus. imagine, because they was going into the scrolls. Mm -hmm. So when it was revealed that Judas was the son of perdition, and they had to, uh, and, and the Lord sent them on his way, you can only imagine how once they realized that it was Judas, that that's what just like the elder was talking about. How back in up was that Psalms? Back in the Psalms. Yep. They had they had their hands on the Psalms. Mm -hmm. So when they realized that it was Judas, I could have, oh shit. That's what it was talking about. The same way they was like going into the scrolls. This got to be that son that was given. Yeah. For you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. Everything came together for them, just like it's coming together for us. That's how we know this is true. Exactly. You know? Go ahead. Exactly. We'll say what we'll say when, when, when you have a shot, opened up their understanding. They was like, oh shit. Yeah. And all those prophecies just came rushed. Everything that they was wondering about, or might not have been sure, it was all made definite right then. That's 
first, right? Go ahead. All right. Uh, verse 13. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Mm -hmm. I have given them thy word, and the word hath hate, and, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's what I'm saying. So if the Lord tell you the people gonna hate you for telling the truth, why are you trying to get everybody to love you? Yeah. You see? Yeah. And they take the prophets rebuking them as hate and trying to quantify that as what well, the Lord said people's gonna hate us if we tell the truth. So it gotta be talking about us. Nah, nigga, you lying. Yeah. You going off. You being told that you're going off, so you have time to repent. That's you know right. what I'm saying? You don't double down on wickedness. Yep. Man, in that world, there is cosmos again. So of course it is. Hate. Of course it is. They're going to hate you. You see? Yep. Your own people that said they hated me, that's why they're going to hate you. Right. The Lord told us that. Sure they're going to think that by killing you, they're doing the work of the Lord. That's how gone the Lord got these niggas. You see? No, 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 brother. That ain't talking about that. That's talking, it's talking about this. This is where it goes. And here's how you prove it. You look this word up. You go back into the history. You write and divide the word of truth. You hear a little, hear a little. All these things, they missing it. As a matter of fact, somebody get that uh, Romans 11 and 7. So thought, Bob Kishon, get uh, Romans 11 and uh, 7. And then you hey, still hold man. Romans 8. Yeah, out of all the understanding trying to get, we hate you. That's the conclusion. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a quick one for you. Come on. Come on, go ahead. This is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Mm. Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. That's what I'm saying, man. Trimming your way to seek them. I was saying, while you trying to uh, 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 trim your way to seek them, you teaching them how to be my wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You worse than them. Yeah. You could, yeah, you could really show them how, you know, get down on the floor, bro. By trimming your way to <laughs> seek love, you ended up worse than them. <laughs> That's crazy. Go ahead. We said, we said we on, uh, Israel will pass the deeds of the wicked. So, yeah, then you join buddy and buddy with yeah. them. Yep. You, 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 you let them in on all, all of the, the filthy big names. Man. Man. That Israel can go to the levels that Israel can go to. Uh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you got the time. Kind of, this is uh, Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. And it reads, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, mm -hmm. but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 8, it says, according as it is written, the Most High hath given, hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. That's what I'm saying. And that was Paul saying that back then. Mm -hmm. That still applies now. Right. You see? Because everybody got a Bible. Yep. Yep. Everybody got a Bible. That's right. You see? Yep. But everybody don't have to understand it. Yeah, right. Pup, yeah, Pup Daddy got a Bible. You know what I'm saying? TV Jace got a Bible. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. But hey, that, that was a prayer. Let their table be made a snare. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. So Jake get caught up in all kinds of stumbling blocks. Mm -hmm. You see? And doubling down on it. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Yep. That's also, if I can add, Elder, that's why you how Shai said, uh, uh, if, if they have ears, let them hear it. Or if you have ears, you'll be paraphrasing. Let them hear. Yeah. Let's talk about your spiritual understanding, yeah. man. That's you know, right. everybody got ears on their head, <laughs> like like the uh, elder mentioned. Yeah. Everybody got bowels, but everybody can't understand it, man. The Lord has not opened up that understanding. Yeah. You know, that's right. Go ahead. Did you want more on that, or was that, that all you that wanted? That was it. Oh, that was it. Oh, I got that in Romans eight. Okay. Uh, we gonna finish with that. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Back in uh, John chapter seventeen, uh, verse fourteen again. I have given them thy word. And the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even, I, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I, I pray that you keep them in the world, but keep the spirit on them to be able to finish. Right. Go ahead. Uh, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Mm -hmm. Like what I'm saying, Yahushua is the word. Yahushua is the truth. Yeah. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Right. You see, the teachings that Yahushua opened our understanding, uh, opened up our understanding to get, is what we're working with now. Right. You see, 
The Lord said he wasn't going to leave us comfortless when he went back to the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And then the Holy Spirit, therefore, fell down on those men and tripped all the way down to us all this time later. Right. You see, we are that remnant, Lord willing. Yep. Go ahead. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. That's like I was saying earlier. Yahweh sent Yahweh Shai to die for Israel, the whole nation. Yep. But Yahweh Shai said, look, I die for the, I die for the ones that believe. Yeah. Y'all going to be able to make people believe on the word too. Yeah. You see? Yeah. And that's how the rest of the nation is going to be brought in. Yeah. So it's waves. The, the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be, the, uh, we're going to be brought in in waves. Yeah. You see? Because we got the kingdom of heaven now with this understanding. That's right. Right. Your house shot not already conquered death. Yeah. You see? But now it got to manifest itself in the physical. That's right. Go ahead. God. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself. That they also might be sanctified through the truth. Mm -hmm. Neither, uh, neither. So he had to get it right as Yahweh shot so that we could get it right. Yep. You see? So when Adam and the sons of God fell back then, that was a strike. Mm -hmm. When Solomon and the rest of Israel and the kingdom was rent, that was another strike. Yep. The third, Lord knocked that thing out the park, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. He knocked that thing out the park for us. That's right. You see? Go ahead. And that three represents understanding. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Here, God. <laughs> on, on the third, third day. day. You see? On the third day. Go ahead. Uh, verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That's what I'm saying. I ain't just praying for the disciples. I'm praying for the rest of the nation that's going to believe on the disciples because I'm coming back to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to the Father, so I made sure that my men was going to have everything that they needed to bring the rest of the, uh, 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 to bring the, rest of the party on. You see? So we're not just doing it for ourselves. Everybody else is doing it for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Jay got mixtapes and selling Snickers and, totally. you know what I'm saying, baking cookies and all kind of bullshit. <laughs> Shit, nigga, dope dealers had our turkeys, motherfucker. <laughs> you at least think these niggas would be having our lamb. Yeah, exactly. But whatever. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm sure got the money from the congregation to afford it. You know. Yeah. Uh, quick precept back here. Uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both say thyself and them that hear thee. That's what I'm saying. It's all about making your body a living sacrifice, yeah. man. It's, which is what we do when we go out on the highways and byways, man. Yep. You see? We willing to sacrifice ourselves for the good of the nation. Yep. But the nation don't care. And we got to do it anyway. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell us to strive lawfully. So no matter what they, no matter how many tomato cans they throw at you or whatever kind of slander, you still gotta teach, you still gotta teach the world. Which is all of Israel. If they don't receive it, then don't worry about it. The Lord said, whether they hear a full bird, get out there anyway. Right. You see? That's right. We endure all things for the elect's sake. So you understand that they not gonna get it, but you know who you out there really for. Yep, that's yeah, right. For, for the hopeful elect. And then the, and then hopefully we are saved and most high remembers our works so we continue to the end. And those that hear, repent, believe, gonna be saved. That's right. Like I said, these other groups, they hand out turkeys and the things they speaking, they gonna get people killed them that hear them. Yep. Yep. And so that's that's the that's the flip side of it. You know, that's the duality. The people that hear them gonna die. That's right. You yep. know, that's why the scriptures say they are the world, therefore the world hear them. He, he we are the heavenly father, and hear them who hear us hear the heavenly father when you read the book of first yep. time. That's right. Uh, back in no, so that's, another, that's another clue to let you know that that virtuous woman chapter is talking about the elect men. Mm. Ain't no woman finna do all the things that's required for what's in that chapter. Right. Matter, when y'all get a chance, look up that uh, uh, virtuous woman chapter. Matter of fact, read it in the NLT. Read it in different versions. Mm. And you tell me what woman on the planet is doing that. Mm. It says the Lord, it said the Lord's bride, it said the Lord like his Israel to a comely woman. Mm -hmm. You see, that beautiful woman, that beautiful woman it's talking about all the work that the elect is going to do. The elect lady is going to carry herself a certain type of way. We represent that elect lady. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got women that's going to be of the elect. Right. So don't get that twisted. Yeah. But it's a metaphor. Right. You see? It's twofold. It's talking about the elect man and a woman that's going to be elected. But these women ain't set up to be righteous and get out there like we're supposed to do. Right. When you read that chapter, it'll make sense. That's right. Lord willing. Go ahead. Uh, back in John chapter 17, verse 21, uh, that they all may be one as though, I don't read verse 20 again, neither pray out for these alone, but for them also which, which shall believe on thee through their word, 
that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. That's what it's all about right there, man. Mm -hmm. Israel being one with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, which is a marriage. Yep. You see? And, the, and, and that covenant, the law, statutes, and commandments being put in our inward part. That's the consummation of the marriage that's going to take place in those chariots, Lord willing, we make it. That's right. It's a metaphor, you see, that we understand plain. We got a time before the marriage. You kind of got to ask yourself, like, what type of hidden agenda you think you're going to get away with? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, what, like, bro, like, what type of hidden agenda do you think? Like, bro, everybody... Who's had a, a secret vendetta to to get the bag and so forth? And we see how it's working out for a lot of these groups. They always getting into some shit, man. Always getting into some shit. And got the nerve to, uh, well, you know, it's because no, no, no. GMS showed y'all love. G gave y'all sound advice, man. As 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 a so called brother should. Brothers that from the apostles and bishops and elders on down, you you guys been giving nothing but love. And sound advice. You know, you want to do your own thing? Hey, by all means. You know what I'm saying? You know, we know we, we seeing how that's playing out. That's right. That's why I said the doors of repentance are still open. Yep. But the, the prophecy of two-thirds of the nation of Israel having to die is still in there. Yep. So <laughs> exactly. exactly. Figure it out, yeah. 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 What uh what was the last verse you read over? Uh 21. All right, we can we can finish off with uh Romans 8. Okay. Yeah. Um, we can go and get ready to wrap it up. Okay. Oh, you, you, you ain't gonna finish the, the chapters. No, no, no. That was that was. Oh, you got the point. point. Okay. Yeah, you made the point. Okay. So, let's see, Romans eight. Another hard chapter as usual. This is a uh, Romans chapter eight. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse thirty for you. Come on. This is a uh, Romans chapter eight, verse thirty. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Mm -hmm. And whom he called, them he also justified. Right? That's what I'm saying. You see how it's linking up with John 17? Yep. Go ahead. Yep. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Mm -hmm. Okay? So right. he, the Lord prayed for all of us to get back to the glory to the beginning. Yep. This is the chapter. Let's go, champ. Yep. <laughs> yep. Starting with who? Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's right. Then that's where it said, you guys, for some reason... Love to uh just ask you how a child like bro, he's the only way you get back to the heavenly father. Letting you know that they ain't worried about getting back. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? They more worried about down here. Yeah, that's exactly. why. That's why Yahweh was like, look, store up your treasures in heaven, yeah. where it, where it can't be taken away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Go ahead. That's yes, right. This is verse thirty one. What shall we then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? That's what we believe. Yep. As long as we tell the truth, we ain't worried about none of you knuckle dragging, mouth yeah. breathing, fitted cap wearing bastards. That's right. right. Go ahead. Verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? You see that? The Lord warned us to ball out. Yep. Mm -hmm. He just wanted us <laughs> to earn it. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. You see? This is how I'm preparing my sons for forever. That's right. So it's going to go from, this is my beloved son in whom I will please hear ye him, right. to these are my beloved sons in whom I will please hear ye them. That's right. Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai when you read up in the chapter. That's right. But the only way you're going to be a joint heir, because if you're a joint heir with the uh, with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom, that means you got to be a joint heir in the curses. Yeah, right. exactly. And, and going through the straight gate. Exactly. Go ahead. Verse 33 in Romans 8. Verse 33, who, sh who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It's the GMS, well, GMS was hating the whole time. They raping little girls. They raping little boys, too. They, 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 they shaking their congregation down for money, even though they bums on their mama couch. Mm. All that gay ass shit. Yeah. Right. yeah. Am I, am, are we homeless? Do we have a home? Do we have money? Are we are we uh are we sexual deviants? What are we, bro? You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, the actual devil get a pass. Right. Yeah. <laughs> These weak ass Edomites, they get a pass. Yeah. Yeah. It never fell. Yeah, go ahead. It's back in Romans 8, verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the most high's elect? 
It is the most high that justifies. It's the most high that justifies. We look at to be justified in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem and our shot. Yeah. You see? That's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? It is Hamashiach that died, ye, rather, that is risen again, mm -hmm. who is even at the right hand of the Most High, mm -hmm. who also maketh intercession for us. That's what I'm saying. He on the right hand of the Heavenly Father yep. making intercession for us. Yep. And meanwhile, his name don't matter. He yeah. ain't to be worshipped. Yeah. Yeah. You can call him Yeshua. Yeah. You can call him this. You can call yeah. him that. Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. Nah. I, be I believe through the spirit of Yahweh I was here. On the scene, bro, y'all would like straight up curse him out. Y'all would, y'all would curse your house shy out, bro. Look how they treat. Yeah. Listen, look, look how they treat his men. Yeah, mm -hmm. look how they treat the men. Right. Yeah. And the Lord told us that they was gonna yeah. do that. Yeah. Right. Blessed are you when men shall revive right. you. Why are we blessed? Because we tell them the truth. Right. Right. It ain't like people just mad at us and all this because we yeah. have to. Ain't nobody mad at the wicked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. They were, they were definitely doing this time because they had your house shot killed back in the ancient world. Yep, they did. Exactly. Yep. So yep. let's get five years. That generation is back here today, man. Yep, that's right. why they're in the state that they're in. Yep, right. Yep. Because that blood is upon them. Yep. That's the same people. Yeah, yep. they, they, they would, if they, well, we used to say this all the time. If these people could kill us, they would. Yeah. If, if that was a, a still a thing like yep. the ancient world, they right. would string us up and stone us. Yeah. That's you know, just after the spirit uh, had it to where uh, they, they can't do that now. That's right. The elect is going to win this time. Huh? Yeah, they, they would they would hate your house. Your house would be a part of GMS if he was here today. Right, that's right. And they would talk hell of shit. That's right. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. You already. Know. I was saying Jacob be the time. Oh, so you was Adam? Yeah, they'll go back to that. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, you messed everything up when you was Adam. You can't tell me. Yeah. I can see it. Mm -hmm. I can see it, but I can also see. The Lord saying, those that don't want to uh, uh, worship me, bring him hither and slay him before me. Yeah. I can see that too. Yeah. 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 Go here, ahead. Did here you got something? Yeah, here it is. Y'all black ass. You know what I'm saying? That includes the Native Americans and Latinos too when I say y'all black ass. I mean all y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, boy of the light. Yeah, boy of the light. So so with, with, with what the elders are saying, bro, y'all would definitely do that, bro. Even though y'all been shown mercy. Everybody in this room been shown mercy. Y'all wouldn't show you. Y'all wouldn't show you how to shot mercy. You would bring up the fact of Adam. Y'all would buy yeah, yeah. And that's and that's just facts. So says the scripture. This is uh, this is back in Romans eight, verse thirty four. Oh, Salakia, uh, I read that already. Uh, verse thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril? Or soul. That's what I'm saying. All that's gonna get rid of the two thirds. Mm. The two the, the two thirds of the nation of Israel is gonna buckle to everything you just read. Yeah. Read that again, Bob. This time. Uh -huh. This is uh back in Romans chapter eight, verse thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Keep going. Yeah. Verse thirty six. As it is written. For thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Well, what's that? Yep. We, we, sheep for the slaughter. Yep. Sheep's supposed to get slaughtered. Yep. So ain't no big deal. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. That's what I'm saying. So through that whole list. We are more than conquerors of all those things yep. just because you how about Shimmy Howard Shot showed us that love that we tried our yep. best to reciprocate. Right. Willing to die for this yep. thing, man. Yep. Yep. Striving for the truth unto death. Yep. Then the Lord gonna fight for you. That's yes, right. Mm -hmm. You show he, he said, You show me, I'll show you. Yep. Go ahead. That's why the scripture say uh, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was that go that testimony goes back to being martyrs, man. Yeah. That's how we overcome. Yep. By coming that same stead uh, yeah. that, that you have, I can't. Yeah. Some is going to happen physically, and, other, and then others, it happens yeah. in other ways. You're cutting off different wants, desires, yeah. your life, everything that you pursued, what you want to do, you cut that off. Yeah. You know, that's why Scripture says it's better to go to the kingdom of Maine than, than pretty much in the hellfire, fully intact, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. You know? Okay. Okay. Verse 38 For I am persuaded. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Verse 39. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, 
which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. That's what I'm saying. Either you believe that or you don't, man. Mm -hmm. You see? It says none of those things can separate us from that love. It said none of those things can separate us from that love. Yeah. We cool with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll get our glory after the Lord get his glory. That's right. Period, point blank. Until then, we do what we're supposed to do with no fighting, no fussing, no bitching, no yeah. moaning. No, 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 no. What, what you want us to do next, Lord? Yeah. Period. Yeah. Y'all got anything else? Mm -hmm. hey, hey, with that, Lord, we'll never edify. We want to give all praises. To Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kapadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops, and great millstone. Peace and blessings to the honor, uh, peace and blessings to the Akim teaching about the mind while I mock. That's the sincerity and truth. Shalom. Shalom.